Chromatin immunoprecipitation, or CHIP for short, is a technique used to determine specific interactions between DNA and a protein, such as a transcription factor. Knowing exactly what sequence on the DNA a protein binds to is useful information that helps scientists determine the function of that protein. Chromatin is the form of DNA that is found in the nucleus. It consists of DNA wrapped around proteins called histones. This allows the DNA to become compacted and take up less space in the nucleus. For the rest of this video, chromatin will be represented by this line for simplicity. In the cell, many proteins are bound to the chromatin. These proteins frequently bind and unbind the DNA, making it difficult to determine interactions. In order to solve this dilemma, first the cell and nuclear membranes are lysed, or degraded, allowing access to the chromatin. Next, a cross-linking agent, such as formaldehyde, is used. This acts like a glue, keeping the proteins bound to the chromatin. Once the cross-linking is complete, the chromatin must be cut into smaller fragments, between 300 and 1,000 base pairs in length. The methods used to analyze the DNA after chip will need shorter sequence lengths. Now, there are numerous DNA fragments with different proteins attached. However, in order to determine the DNA binding location for a particular protein, that protein and its bound DNA segment must be separated from the others. This is where the immunoprecipitation part of CHIP comes in. Antibodies that bind only to the protein of interest are added to the solution. These antibodies are in turn attached to dense beads. The resulting complex contains chromatin, a DNA-associated protein, an antibody, and a bead all bound together. The solution is then centrifuged, causing the dense beads and attached compounds to clump and precipitate out of solution. The remaining solution can then be removed, leaving only the protein of interest and associated complex. The final step involves separating out the components to isolate DNA so that the specific binding location of the protein of interest can be determined. The precipitate is heated, undoing the cross-linking glue, and breaking the binds between the DNA and associated proteins. This includes both the protein of interest and histones in the chromatin. Once the DNA has been separated, the remaining proteins and beads are precipitated out with organic solvents and removed through another round of centrifugation. This isolates the DNA and completes the process of chromatin immunoprecipitation. Now that the DNA segment binding to the protein of interest has been purified, it can be resuspended and analyzed with a variety of methods. PCR, microarrays, and next-gen sequencing can be used to determine the location of the fragment relative to a gene or location within the genome, as well as the exact nucleotide sequence of the fragment.